Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad you could join me. I want to read a passage of scripture. Jesus is speaking and he says to us who are believers, you are the salt of the earth. And then he said in the next verse, you are the light of the world. And what Jesus was talking about is that our lives are supposed to be lived in such a way that we draw other people to learn about Jesus Christ, to be curious or interested in studying the Word of God, to consider the way they're living and the way the Bible speaks about us living, how we're supposed to live. And um, I think it's very relevant. The reason I think this is a very relevant text for today is because there are many people um, who doubt that there are any answers at all to the problems which uh, mankind is experiencing today. And yet the truth is, the Bible speaks in a very relevant way to the very issues that we're dealing with every day, whether that's crime or lying or stealing or broken families and relationships. Um, whatever is going on that's causing you concern, terrorism, all these things. The Bible speaks about all these things. It's very interesting. And there's a lot of uh, different worldviews. There's a Christian worldview, but then there's also the, the worldview of a person who's not a believer in God or someone who is a, a Hindu or a Buddhist or a Muslim or different faiths. And so the question is, where do you find answers and how can you and I effectively be salt and light in a world where there's many people living in darkness and are not interested in the things of God. Well, one thing you and I have to do is to be very, very careful how we live so that our life is consistent with what we say a Christian should be. That's one. Number two, if you and I are living a Christian life, our life should be salty. I don't know about you, but I like salt on my food. It makes it taste better. And so our life should certainly make the message of Jesus Christ more tasty to people, that they would be more interested to find out more about it. And the other thing is people are living in darkness. They're stumbling around in life. They really, even though they might say they have it together, I don't know very many people who are, uh, who are not struggling. Most of the people I know are having some kind of problem. And so when they are, I want to say we're supposed to be light. Light reveals some problems. Uh, probably most people are aware there's problems, but it also shows the way that we can walk out of the problems and enjoy a better quality of life. We are offering our churches a free website, um, and you can find it very simply. If you go on your computer or your smartphone, uh, you can just uh, type in true life, T R U E L I F E dot org. When you go there, you don't have to log in. There's no password. It's free to you. And it offers answers to a lot of these questions um, uh, that you might have. And you'll see it's very relevant to today. And I encourage you to go check it out and let me know. I would like to know what you think about the website and if it helps you because you can invite others who have a lot of real questions uh, invites it's a way that you can encourage them invite them to find answers to their legitimate questions okay God bless you I certainly hope you have a wonderful day